Hello, my name is Matthew, and I'm an application engineer here at Hawkridge Systems. Today in this video, I want to go over a practice within DesignX called hybrid modeling, which is taking organic shapes and turning them into solid bodies so we can add prismatic features into it afterwards. This is commonly found in the industry with things that might have very handmade or, um, as I said, organic shapes, but you do have prismatic features such as these uh, holes um, or fittings that need to be exact based on the model. What I've done with this model is I've created two different meshes. One is the original, and then one I've uh, created a copy of it, Control c and Control v and went to the Polygons tab and used the combination of the D feature tool and hole fills um, to fill in all the features so that way everything is uh, tight. The reason for this is because it makes the next step in the Home tab, Auto Surface, significantly easier. Auto surface is what we're going to use to get rid of a lot of the, or generate a lot of the organic body parts. Um, so what I'm going to do is if you select on auto surface, you can select on the mesh that you want to generate from. And clicking the next arrow, uh, keeping default settings, we will see a preview of the NURB surface. NURB surfaces are a combination of different surfaces, uh, four-cornered surfaces or four-sided surfaces um, that are patched together to create a single solid body. So as you can see, we have a combination of various ones of these. If we need to adjust control points, we very well can. Um, but everything looks good, so I'm just going to click OK. So the process just completed. If I now hide my mesh, we will see a preview of this. This is now a solid body. Um, this could be exported out into other CAD models or softwares if we wanted. Um, but this is a great base. As you see, it's in a lot of the organic modeling ourselves. It is a, just a dummy solid body. Um, so it doesn't have any way to uh, be edited. However, we can machine this. With that, I'll now show our original model or our original mesh. And what I'm going to do next is do an auto segment. I want to break this up into regions so that way I can now take and extract cylinders and circles um, from these fittings, which I'm going to use to directly cut right into the model. With the completion of the auto region, we now have ways to highlight over this mesh so that way we can start inserting bodies. This looks to have been labeled as a cylinder. However, this is labeled incorrectly. We do have ways to change it within the properties and geometry type. With this, I will now go into models, solid primitive, and mixture cylinder selected. And with a preview, just make sure that it is going to line up correctly, which it looks like it will. And I'm going to click OK. Just like most features in DesignX, we have a ways to edit the property manager or the, the property tree. So I'm just going to extend out the cylinder by right-clicking Edit the Sketch itself, just to make sure it pierces this entire body. At the moment, we now have these two bodies. So if I had the mesh and show the other solid, we have the cylinder going through. And now, if I really want to, I can also edit this, or I can wait until I've inserted in more and cut this away from the solid itself, uh, the original auto-surfaced mesh, or uh, solid body uh, from the derp surfaces. And with that, we now have a hybrid model, both a combination of organic auto-surface, and then now a prismatic cylinder uh, based on the regions. If I wanted, I can now also show the mesh itself again, and hide the solid body, and start sketching directly onto this to add in features myself without needing to use the auto inserts. If I go over to the sketch and select circle. I can now generate circles or sketch out circles and generate them on the body and extrude them into the solid body as well and cut them away. I typically like to add an opposite region so I'll have a little bit going above the mesh and then a little bit going below. Um, and this is because the above will be able to make sure that it is cutting away from completely everything. Sometimes you might find that the, um, the auto surface is a little bit, uh, maybe even 0 0.01 millimeters taller, um, but that will make it so it doesn't appear, your cuts will not appear. So just making sure you have a little bit above always helps out. And then selecting cut and then clicking OK, we'll be able to turn away from the, the, uh, the auto surface body just like before. I hope this video has been informative. In the link in the description, we have a link to a blog article that goes over this uh, exact method using pictures as an example. It goes a little bit more in depth, talking about different methods and even showing a complete model. <music>